Ah. Hey everybody, welcome to my new jet. Today is a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We're just gonna kind of take it easy and do a little bit of yard work. Holy smokes, it's windy. Oh, look at how thick this grass is getting. If you guys are new to the channel, I completely redid this entire yard, bulldozers, excavators, and everything. Other than a couple washed out fingers and the Mariana Trench running through here, the rest of the yard is actually coming along really nice. If we take kind of a closer look, we do have some little weeds that are starting to poke through, a little bit of crabgrass here and there. We can definitely still see some remnants of tree roots of the trees that used to be here. And then we are going to have some spots we're gonna have to touch up with some fill dirt later, but instead of trying to do 100,000 things at once, we'll take it one thing at a time. to the 2745. This is the tractor. We weren't getting any like oomph to the starter, no clicking. So I got the charger on right now. I'm running around checking fuses. We're gonna check some stuff over the starter. I checked all my fuses and I'm not getting light for... I'm getting light now. Well that's weird. Man, I ain't getting no juice completely down here. So somewhere between... Hold on for a second. Might help if we hook up the old ground wire. Starter is fine. Now we just gotta test the solenoid or it could be a wire to the solenoid. Sounds like we got juice there. Hannah says to say hi to everybody. Oh, Hannah, oh. Remember how the boys say I never put anything away? <laughs> yeah, right. Hannah, oh, there you go, thank you. Ah! Oh yeah, bullseye, another bullseye. And I did not get a bullseye. I think what we're gonna do with our trailer here, this is the trailer we've been waiting for the axle. We ordered it in January. Two brand new axles, I guess the wheels are in, but we haven't had no axle yet. So I think what we'll do one of these days, we'll take the uh, teller handler down here. We'll go ahead and chain it up, lift it up, and we might as well sit it outside. Coop, what are we doing this morning? Uh, we're going on a private mission. Come on, Dad, on delay, on delay, we're late. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Hey, that coat looks nice on you. I know. Holy cow, this thing has the same size tires as our lawnmower. Okay, guys, there's less room in here than my Geo. We're gonna make this work. Oh, boy. Built for speed, not comfort. <laughs> You're like a telemarketer. So the one on the right's the gas and then the brake, right? No, the gas is right here. <laughs> Guys, I landed on my first plane completely unassisted. <laughs> Good job. Today we are in Indianapolis, Indiana. We are going to be touring AgChem Solutions. What do we call this place? Warehouse. And why are we doing this? Well, we spend a lot of money every year on chemicals to spray our corn and soybeans and we're trying to look for ways we can cut some costs. And one of the ways we can do that is through generics. So that's where Ag Chem Solutions comes in. So we're just here today, kind of getting the feel. This is John, he owns Ag Chem Solutions. He invited us out, so we're gonna kind of see what goes on behind the whole chemical logistics of everything. And well, here, I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah, here we go. Basically, this is where we, we pull all of our stuff from. Shrink wrap machine coop, you wanna hop in? Yeah. <laughs> If you added up all the inventory in this room, what do you think it'd come out to? I don't know about this room, but here at Indianapolis location, about 12 million in inventory. Holy smoke. <laughs> Some of the chemicals are up to $1,000 a gallon. Get those out on the farm, you definitely don't want to spill them. <laughs> you know? Oh, Daddy, you gonna fit? No. I can fit. Didn't well, know if that Casey's Pizza was catching up with you. All our warehouses, are they don't get below 45 degrees so that we know that it's never been frozen. And all of our products that we do, are, we only do new products. Holy cow, this thing's huge. We got all this area right in here. And I think it's over a third of a mile. Now this is super interesting for me because when we get this stuff on the farm, it just shows up in pallets and boxes and we just put it in the shed and we don't really think about how it got there. So it's kind of eye-opening to realize the whole 
planning and storage ahead of time on how it gets to us. You think we could play a huge game of hide and seek in here? You'd never find me. <laughs> Guys, this entire building through here is a million square feet. Our main heated shop's 5,000 square feet. Holy smoke. Give you guys a little fun fact here. All these totes that we see are 265 gallons a piece, and there's a gajillion of them here. They're about $4,000 a tote, and they sell about a million gallons worth of this stuff a year. Row after row after row after row after row after row. Hey, Dad, I got a question for yeah. you. Yeah. Is my fingernail going to fall off or it's not? It's going to fall off. Not today, but sometime. It will. It's, oh. it's not looking good. It's one thing you got to keep pretty nice forklifts. You can't be yeah. sitting without. No, 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 no. Wayne carries in here by hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one nice thing about having a smashed finger is it's like a built-in heart rate monitor. Every time my heart beats, I can feel it in my finger. All right, John, I, I got one last question while we're up okay. here. How often do you have to fix the windows? That's one good thing about leasing because that's the landlord's <laughs> responsibility. Going down the elevator? That elevator can hold a fourth of a semi load. Okay, so Cooper's. The only thing I can ride on it. <laughs> I gotta keep my finger up above my shoulder. If I do that, it doesn't hurt. But if I put it down, then it hurts. Hey, Neva, come here. Yeah. Does that help? It's one reason we're kind of geeking out about this factory is it was built in the 1940s, so it's been used for a few different things over the years. So it's just kind of interesting to look at how they design things for different applications. The area that we're going into now used to build telephones, and this was called the gold room because they had all the gold components for the phones in here. So it's got some super high security doors. I don't think anyone's going to be breaking through one of these. Look at that, guys. That is terrible. <laughs> this is my good finger, and this is my not so good finger. <laughs> <laughs> so I know people are wondering, how did I do this? Well, at home, I took Cooper's new trailer, just like this, and it's got this spring-loaded bottom part to the jack. And so I was holding on right here with my left hand, and I pulled this, and it launched up, and I got this smashed between this. Back Wayne, it's good meeting you. you. Thank you for the tour. Hey, you're very welcome. Anytime. Hey, mess with that seat. The time he flies, and oh my gosh. he does, flies for other people. And... Hey, what's going on here? What do you mean? My seat just moved. It did? Well, don't press the button. I didn't know I'd push the button. Huh. That's weird. It's out well then that he can... Yeah, and he's, uh, he's got 31,000 uh, hours. I think the kids are squishing me. <laughs> <laughs> Grab, I think. That one there. There you go. Oh, jeez, John. All these stairs. You don't have the bathroom right up all day here. Yeah, yeah. Right over to the left. And outside, then there's a tree on your right. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're basically done here for the day, but before we go, we're gonna have a little visit with John. Something I kind of like to do when we meet with other business owners is basically ask for what are their keys to success. So John here runs about a hundred million dollar a year business, so I'd say you're pretty successful at what you're doing. What would you say to someone who's just getting started or thinking about getting started? I think the main thing is uh, to have your customer first and also have your customer's best interests at heart and that just makes for a really good transaction and it makes a success in your business and that's really what it's all about you know is your customer is all is is first how many hours a week do you think the average entrepreneur works oh they they work uh, relentless amounts uh, i usually work from seven until ten at night but it's a joy that I love and I'm helping others. So, so it doesn't really feel like, like work, does it? No, it doesn't. Well, okay. we thank you and thank you for bringing your plane out to us. And we're going to review your pricing stuff compared to ours, see how much money you can save us. And you guys will be seeing more junk. That sounds great. Appreciate it. Take care, Cole. Thanks, John. We'll see you. Okay, here we go. Round two. There you go, Neva. It's perfect size for you. Yeah. All right, now what buttons do I press? <laughs> <laughs> His face was like, no. You gonna fit in there, Coop? I think we might need to get three of these or so at home. Coop, you co piloting this thing? My new jet. Oh, the weather's a lot different here. Oh, fresh air. Oh, we sure thank you for yeah, taking us up oh, this nice. flight. Thanks for teaching us some stuff about the plane, too. You're yes. I'm sure I could fly by myself now. I got the keys right here on this room, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, plane. We'll see you later. Well, today we made a trip to Indiana. We're trying to figure out ways to try to save money for us to try to 
make the bottom line a little different on our farm. We're not sponsored by John. We're not working with John on anything. We've never done business with him before, but he reached out. He's trying to get our business. So I guess we're going to at least listen to what he has to say. We're going to send him all the chemicals we currently have, and he's going to put up a quote sheet. And I guess we're going to see an apples to apples, and we're going to show you guys so that way you can see. And then if we do make the switch, you'll know the reason behind it. All right, well, I think I'm about ready for a nap. That flight wore me out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We're going to call this into video. We'll see you in the next one.